Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Sending Blue and Send Grid. The first thing I'm going to compare is pricing, then I will look on reviews or what they actually think about Sending Blue and what people think on Send Grid. Then I will look on main features, what they actually offer and what are some advantages and disadvantages I see in both, the, both of these softwares. So let's start. I'm not paid by Sending Blue or Send Grid to say that one is better comparing to the other, use that. I'm just going to give you my honest review what I think about it. Now, but yes, you will find affiliate link down below in the description. If you click through it, a register, you can support me. So let's start now. Pricing. SendGrid offers, as also with a Sending Blue, they offer free account. So you got most of the things here. Mm, but yes, template editor is on essential. And the pricing is really similar. Like, let's say that you're going to say, I don't know. 20,000 emails a month, it's 40 bucks, here it's 15 bucks estimated and yeah, it's like pretty all right. Now it should like change the price here, but I don't know why it's not changing. It's based on many factors and also taxes and over, over rages may apply. And this is something that I don't really like straight from the beginning and I'm damn honest that you can actually see how much money you're going to pay. But on the end, you see here, taxes and overages may apply. From this point, I'll be really careful about using a software, which is not going to give me straight answer how much money I'm going to pay if I'm going to send 20,000 emails a month. And we will get to it, uh, why they are doing these kind of things straight away. So this is the pricing. Then you get like light premium free in Sending Blue. Uh, you get 300 mails a day for free. SendGrid offers you 100 emails a day, so Sending Blue is winning in this department. On Essentials, you need to pay like 40,000 40, mails a month, and then before all rages apply, and need to actually like read what this means. Okay, but all right. And now what I want to show you is this. So we are going to look on Trustpile right now, what other people think and have what kind of experiences they have with the SendGrid and Sending Blue. So we can see right here, SendGrid reviews 248, 1.4. And even when I don't look on bad, you don't see the positive review here. And this is something what I see when I analyze when I start using that is like that they have these shenanigans, right? That if you're going to do this, you're going to pay this overcharge and they are not transparent. This is something that I don't like so much when you just don't know how much money you're going to pay and read the reviews by yourself. You would find it right here. That SendGrid uh, is not that great. Also, plenty of emails are coming to spam folders only because it's not trusted anymore. Yes, they have the main features as an A-B testing, the automations also with a Automations are much simpler comparing to Sending Blue. I will show it to you, but still, Sending Blue for me is a top notch. Both of these tools are lean to create automation, to create a contact, custom fields, sign up forms. It's easy to use, it's simple. Like on, on this department, they are winning, but from the customer support perspective, Sending Blue is complete winning. And let me show you this is SendGrid, and let me show Sending Blue. Right here, you can see it. 4.6, like nothing. Yes, they have both free account, but in my opinion, I would just go with the Sending Blue. Not because of the customer service quality, the pricing is similar. In some way, SendGrid is better, should be better, but you just don't know because the overcharges and taxes and whatever, I just don't know how much money you're gonna pay if you choose Essentials. It's like not that great. I, I just personally wouldn't use it. And then I just don't feel right about using SendGrid. So that's just me. You can test both of these tools, but you can see it by yourself that SendGrid. And yeah. And the most important thing that SendGrid emails are coming to spam. So you can see by our, the, the delivery is really bad for SendGrid. And this is something you need to be careful about. So thank you very much. Let me down below in comments which one you choose and which one you're going to choose. But this is the truth and I'm going to be damn honest. Goodbye.